Hello and welcome back to the Rope Access and Climbing Podcast, YouTube edition. I am your host, Mikey Stevenson, and today on Acceptable and Unacceptable, I'm going to be talking to you about two different why hang scenarios with the same outcome. So stay tuned. If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe and follow us wherever you get your podcasts. Step into your harness and get ready for a podcast about the vertical world. All right, well, welcome back to another episode of Acceptable or Unacceptable. This is the third one that I've done here on YouTube. So thank you for tuning in. All right, so today's scenario, we have two different Y hangs that we're going to be talking about. And what we have on this one scenario is we got about a 20 foot span between bolts. We have a Y hang. Um, this internal angle here is 94 degrees. Um, and we're going to dive in to find out if this is acceptable. All right, so let's see what we got here. We have good solid anchorage. We have a bolt into the anchorage. We have a locking carabiner, a figure eight on a bite coming into this Alpine butterfly. And we have the same thing over here. So we have got the bolt, we got the locking carabiner, the figure eight on a bite coming into this centralized Alpine butterfly. And then that's giving us two working strands. All right. So is this acceptable or is this not? So keep in mind that I did uh, say with this scenario, we do have a span of 20 feet. All right. So here we have 20 feet. Okay. Between anchor and anchor. Now, is that acceptable or is that not? So, So the requirement here is anything greater than 1.5 meters, everything needs to be doubled up. So right then and there, we have one line here and one line here. We have one bolt, one carabiner on that side, one bolt, one carabiner on that side. So therefore, this is not acceptable. All right. Now let's go in a little bit deeper and just kind of figure out what's going on here. So why isn't it acceptable? Well, if any part of one side fails, then this will basically come down and you will drop and you swing. Okay. Now, obviously we cut this in half from here to here. That's 10 feet. All right. Not to mention any additional swing. Okay definitely an unacceptable swing in the world of rope access. All right. So the second scenario for today's episode is pretty similar. Um, but the difference here is they've tied two Alpine butterflies and clipped them together with the, uh, carabiner. So is this acceptable or is this unacceptable? Okay. Same scenario. We have 20 feet between bolts, um, or so. And so, at the end of the day, this is also not acceptable. All right. At any point that one side or the other side fails, um, you are subjecting yourself to a substantial swing. Okay. Like I did say before, anything greater than 1.5 meters from bolt to bolt must be doubled up. And another aspect where the anchors must be doubled up is say if there's a hazard. So even if this span here is, you know, two or three feet and you're creating a Y hang to avoid some sort of a hazard, then everything must be doubled up as well. So keep that in mind. Um, now going back on the other one where I did mention about the 94 degrees, our optimal angle for Y hang is 90 degrees and our critical angle is 120. So as long as you're operating below 120 degrees, it is completely acceptable there. But, uh, Keeping in mind that the kicker to this one is the span and only having a single line on each side. All right. Well, thank you very much for tuning into today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to show me your support by hitting the like button. 
If there's anything here that you would like to see, make sure to let me know in the comments below and I will definitely be getting back to you. Also, if you would like to see more content like this, please hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner, the bell on the side to be notified every time I put out a new video. As I said before, I do put out new content every Sunday here on YouTube. All right, well, until next time, I'll talk to you then.